Welcome. A new DS Let's Play. You're looking at the bottom screen this time. Because the game we're going to play basically shows everything on the bottom screen, which we all know how I feel about that. Anyways, the game is Golden Sun Dark Dawn for the DS. Brand new, just came out today. Today is Tuesday, November 30th, 2010. Listen to that nostalgic music. Listen to that music. Let's begin. <clears throat> ah. Sorry about this camera. Let me get it. There we go. That'll work. Alright, enter a name. Uh, I don't want to call him Matthew. I'll call myself my real name. Chris. That'll work. This is actually my second time attempting to record this, because the first time Pinnacle, being Pinnacle, lost the narration. <sighs> I don't understand Pinnacle sometimes. I love it and I hate it. Anyways, long ago, the Ancients of Weir discovered the secrets of alchemy. They found that all life in Weir was based on the four elements, earth, wind, fire, and water, and that they made excellent music. They used their knowledge of alchemy to forge a dazzling civilization from the elements and the ancients made their wildest dreams come true. The music may be a little bit loud, and then began the nightmare of alchemy. Abuses of alchemy threatened to tear apart their entire civilization, so the ancients did the unthinkable. They sealed away the power of alchemy so no one could use it. Civilization was saved, but the physical world itself began to die a slow death, for the ancients didn't realize that alchemy was what held Weir together. Without the force of alchemy, lands went barren, seas went dry, and the planet began to crumble, and civilization itself fell into the darkest of ages that came before its final fatal extinction. The ancients had sealed away alchemy to save civilization, but they had doomed Weir. These effects are amazing on the video. But while the oceans churned and life on the life on the continent slid slowly toward oblivion over the eons, a legend was kept alive that held the key to Weir's survival. What is this key? If four elemental lighthouses could be ignited, their their energy would trigger the Golden Sun event over Weir. The Golden Sun would unleash the force of alchemy, saving the world. Thirty years ago, a group of heroes did save the world with the Golden Sun, but now a shadowy threat is spreading. Yes, that was the events of Golden Sun 1 and 2 basically summarized into four or five paragraphs. Have no fear, I will eventually let's play Golden Sun 1 and 2. Eventually. Camelot presents. I don't know what this is. Some kind of floating thing. Some kind of airship. Oh, uh, Golden Sun 1 and 2 with the lighthouses. I remember lighting the first two in Golden Sun and wanting to light the next two, and then you couldn't. Very aggravating. It has been 30 years since the Golden Sun event over Weir. The world was saved and changed. Eight heroes took part in the quest to light the elemental lighthouses. I was all eight of them, except for Piers, because he's gay. Four of these brave warriors were from the town of Vale. The warriors of Vale, as they are now known throughout Weir, are praised and blamed for their efforts. I wonder what. what hmm. Anyway, never mind. Well, probably been talking about. They had long lived at the foot of Mount Aleph, home to a people charged with a sacred duty from the ancients. That was to protect Soul Sanctum, where the forbidden keys to the elemental lighthouses were hidden. It was also home to the godlike wise one who betrayed everybody at the very end and had been trying to kill us the entire time. Oh, and he also protected Wayard. Yeah, he was a bitch. Vale kept the Sanctum secrets for generations, ever vigilant against the return of alchemy. 
but the warriors of Vale were among those who pursued the forbidden return of its power. Only trying to help. Calm down. Look at that seagull. Because of their courage, the world of Weyard was saved 30 years ago. But while Weyard was saved, the new dawn of alchemy has, brought, has been anything but bright. For while alchemy brings life, it has also unleashed chaos. And he's hungry for emeralds. He's a big drip. When the Golden Sun event happened, raw power exploded from the sky above Mount Aleph. Aleph, Aleph, whatever. Mount Aleph was largely destroyed by the explosion, and not a trace remains of the peaceful village of Vale. The planet itself is still caught in the violent throes of rebirth. Natural disasters continue to torment the people of Weyard. But the survivors live on, driven to new desperation, and the good people of Vale, though forced to resettle, continue their sacred vigil. That seagull reminds me so much of Malin. She just wants to be like a seagull and fly. They persist in their duty to soul sanctum at Mount Aleph, or at least what remains of it. Two survivors live near the crater where Vale once was. The area rocks with eruptions, but still they watch Mount Aleph from the newly upheaved Goma Plateau. Watch this cutscene. It's crazy. Remember, this is on the DS. The original DS. Well, the DS like whatever. Their Isaac and Garrett, two of the warriors of Vale. These men, praised and blamed for the dawn of this new day, study the after effects of the Golden Sun carefully. Look at these look at the graphics, folks. Look at this cutscene. This is amazing. And from their lookout cabin, Isaac and Garrett also train their children to be powerful warriors. For this world will soon need a new generation to face the darkness of this new dawn. Unfortunately, the camera just does not display how beautiful this is. Welcome to Golden Sun Dark Dawn. I am Ashesaur. Let us begin. Just listen to the music. I hope you can hear it. Wavepad says you can. Look at these graphics. Amazing that this is on the DS. These people look kind of familiar. Hmm. I seem to know this guy. In the next part, we'll dig into this game.